Hello again, another airsoft gun this time. This is the wee GLK 18C Tactical, or to the rest of us, a Glock 18C. Now, before I make this video, I'm not actually an airsoft skirmisher, I don't play airsoft. I have played it twice before, and I would like to play it again, but um, I'm not really much of a sociable person, so I don't really like being around a lot of people. So that's a bit of putting for me to actually go and play, although I do have a lot of airsoft kit now because I do like shooting and guns and I've been refused an airgun license so airsoft and crossbows is kind of what I'm left with. And I am looking into collecting airsoft guns uh, mainly for display, especially now as I have a, an exemption to legally have them in the real steel colours opposed to this stupid colour which I've made a video on that. That'll be uploaded either sometime before this or sometime after, I'm not sure when. Um, and I've accumulated a little bit of airsoft gear just by buying airsoft guns. I've got a holster, I've got plenty of pairs of goggles um, and I've got some you know, military kit from when I was younger. I used, to, I used to really like collecting like military clothing and that so I've got a magazine pouch and all the rest and you know I've, I've got a good airsoft gun, good airsoft rifle now, the ICSL85. A2 and a bunch of spare mags. I bought that gun second hand. In fact, I did do a video on that gun, but while I was making the video on that gun, I actually sort of snapped one of the connectors off the motor so the gun doesn't fire. So I just soldered that back on. I've not actually uploaded that video yet. Uh, I put a lot of I put a lot of effort into that video, and I sort of messed it up at the end. I need I need to look into uploading that. Anyway, so this was bought today from Airsoft World um, I picked it up in the shop because I am reasonably close to them uh, so that's quite nice to actually go and see what I buy for once I don't really like this whole buy it off the internet and see if you like it when it comes but I've been watching videos on this for the past couple of, eight, past couple of days and well I've seen these online many many times and I always thought wow that's really cool I've seen them in I don't know how many videos uh, popping up on social media and I always knew I was going to get one eventually well today I got it so I paid a hundred pound for the gun and about six pound for this gas and I've not really done that much shooting it with it today because my girlfriend won't let me because it's actually getting on, on her nerves firing us on full auto and I'm going to show you a little full auto demo just shortly and I'm probably going to get told off for it um, anyway so this isn't really a sort of high power high performance target shooting gun or anything like that, it's airsoft so obviously it's smooth bore it'll be okay for some plinking but for, for me this is mainly for putting in my cabinet and collecting photography YouTube, that sort of thing so let's have a look at the actual gun itself so of course this is the, the black and tan version which the contrast is really nice uh, I do quite like it, I, originally I was going to go for the, with the all black one Um but I did kind of want the tan one. In the end, of course, I went for the tan one. So this is a Gen 4. Speaking of which, you can see some realistic markings. So I think there on the real steel, it'd be Glock. Of course, this is not a licensed model. Glock is not licensed this. And I think that's why they call it the GLK instead of the Glock. Because I think Glock is apparently really tight on that sort of thing. Um, They don't like using the, the official names i think that's changed recently but anyway i think on the real steel it'd say glock there uh, 9x19 i've actually got a couple of 19 uh, 9x19 parabellum or luger or whatever it is uh, in my cabinet on display and there of course perfect really goes at home without a license uh, 18c tactical i don't know if the real one would say tactical on it though now on the other side it's a bit less realistic made in taiwan well at least it doesn't say made in china um, someone's probably going to criticise me for that. I've had a bit of hate for saying uh, I don't particularly like things being made in China. Anyway, uh, patent pending. What's that there? MBS, whatever that means, and some Taiwanese or Chinese or whatever writing, I don't know. Uh, same again, don't have a clue what that says. WET 2019, so WETEC 2019. I'm guessing it was made in 2019, and we've got a few. A few more uh, WET5168 whatever that is I don't think that's a zero number 
maybe it is, I don't know. Some other other uh, pieces of writing and WE uh, we text logo. And of course we've got the the cutouts on the top of the slide. I would imagine that'd be to to help the gun cool down when it's, when it's shooting on full auto. It's fair to say that it's no secret that the, the Glock automatic pistols are quite fast shooting. Uh, we've all seen it on movies how fast they are supposedly. And I, th I think on movies they actually use real firearms just with blanks. Either that or they use blanks, but they're very fast shooting guns. Same same on most games. Uh, I, I remember using Glocks a lot playing Call of Duty years and years ago. Uh, G18 on Modern Warfare 2, yeah, that was one of my favourite guns. Still is actually. Not that I play much Xbox nowadays, like, but even even now on the newest Modern Warfare, I still love using the Glock uh, as a secondary. In fact, this one looks quite a lot like it. Uh, so, let's look at the, the grip for a start. Um, so, I find this to be quite comfortable to hold. Now, I've never really been one to talk about um, how comfortable they are, because I just think most things are reasonably comfortable to hold. Um, this one... I can actually see um, how how do I explain this? Like I can see how well it fits into my hand. I mean, if you if you look here, you can see how ergonomic it is. It just fits really well. It's it's really quite comfortable. And even these little cutouts here, or these little dents, these are these are really uh, comfortable to hold and shoot. I can't really aim on camera because I'm in a really small space. I mean, the wall is literally right there and of course my camera is right here so I can only do so much and um, the controls so we've got the magazine release here and this is quite nice this is uh, quite nicely marked I think and we'll go over the materials just in a minute I think this is probably made of steel I'm fairly sure it is on my other pistol usually these gas guns the magazine is made of metal probably steel Mm, there's steel in there somewhere, but it's not this. You see it's just sort of sliding down. I'm guessing it's grabbing onto the spring. Yeah. This plate here just slides off. You just push that button and it slides off. A little bit more markings on the bottom there. We tactical made in Taiwan. Uh, I'm not going to load it, because I'm not going to shoot it. But to load this, it's one of those ones that's a pain in the ass. You just pull the spring right back and you load it in here, push them in. And I think it holds 24 BBs in this gas magazine. And uh, you just fill these up like a lighter. And of course you've got your, your marks there for your cartridges. But this is airsoft. And of course you've got your little button valve thing there at the back to actually fire the gun. Okay, the other controls actually are much like the real thing. So of course you've got your slide catch and of course this has a gas blowback which is really nice I, I don't like the non blowbacks they're just no fun just racking back that slide and seeing in the open chamber is just a lot of fun and it's it's much better for photography purposes you can get a much more convincing photo to make it look like a real firearm which is quite nice and it would be much better for the theoretics as well and of course release the slide catch um, we'll get to that in a minute now, this assembly on this gun is fairly easy, and I think it takes down exactly like the real thing. So you just pull these two tabs back at the same time, and the gun has to be cocked. Pull these back, push that forward, the slide comes off, and uh, move that aside now. You can see there, the internals how it works so of course fire it and you can see the hammer and that'll be what hits off the back of that little gas button there and we can further strip it down so we can take out the recoil spring this is all well oiled of course and uh, the gun itself is oiled you can see there got oil on my hands uh, take out the airsoft inner barrel uh, sorry outer barrel and then the airsoft inner barrel comes out. I don't know what this is made of. These are usually made of brass, or at least something that's, that looks like brass. So while we're at it, we might as well see what's made of steel and what's not. So that's definitely not steel. And there's some, some sort of steel in here. Okay. Outer barrel. 
It's definitely metal. Probably some sort of cheap pot metal. But it's a 100 pound airsoft gun. It doesn't exactly have to be pressure bearing steel. Slide, nope. Fire selector, nope. Okay, for some reason something in the front sight is sta- No, wait a minute. Screw. That's what that'll be, the screw there or the pin or whatever it is. Holding that front sight on. And this rear sight is adjustable. I think you have to take, yeah, you have to remove that screw there. Take this whole thing out and you can adjust it left or right, which is a lot of faffing around there. There's really not much point. Uh, now this, this extractor here, I don't think it could. Oh, it can, it can move. So that is actually a separate piece. In fact, my other gas blowback pistol here, it's dust, ext uh, dust extractor, what am I on about? It's shell extractor, is actually a separate piece and I, had ha I have taken that out a few times so they are fully strappable which is nice. It's one of the one of the nice things about these replica airsoft guns is they are quite quite well thought out I think and of course this is also functional. You've got your hop up right there which I never use. Uh, I think they're a bit of a con. Maybe that's just because I don't understand how it works. Like how adjusting a wheel back or forward it can make something more accurate or less accurate is beyond me now if anyone wants to actually explain how that works then feel free to do so um i don't know T to me if it was shooting off i would just adjust my sight so i would just sort of shoot higher or lower or to the side or whatever and uh, by the way just to in fact before we put the slide back on see what other parts are steel I was really hoping these pieces here, where the slide goes back onto, would be made of steel. Here's something that looks like metal. Whoops. Okay. Mag catch is made of steel anyway. Nope. Spring, obviously steel. Hammer, steel, that's good. Right, so there's not that many steel parts, and obviously this is plastic. I'm not going to call it polymer because, you know what, to be honest, I don't really know the difference between all the different plastics anyway. It's some sort of plastic polymer, whatever. Steel pin for the um, trigger or whatever it is. And we've got another steel pin here. I'll get to that just in a moment. So to put the slide back on. You just pull it back and that's it. Unlike my other pistol where you've actually got to... Well, I'll just show you a bit easier. On this gun, it has to be cocked again, and you swing that round, pull it off, but you've got to... Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I've got to keep pulling it back and sort of trying to get it to, to catch. I don't, really, I don't really know why that is. So in that regard, the Glock's actually nice, so you just slam it back on, basically. Um, so yeah, I think that actually does look quite nice. Let's see if I can hear it, actually. Um, sort of. Yeah, so it's, it is quite nice to shoot, quite nice to hold. Um, so, the magazine, to fill that up with, with gas or the Shoji BBs, uh, it's just the exact same way as filling up a lighter. Here, I've just got that Abbey gun gas. I don't think this, sorry, Predator gas. I don't think this is going to last me very long. Honestly, I've just been dry firing it. Um, just because it's, it's just so much fun and this gun is actually quite loud or at least louder just hold it for a few seconds there at least louder than my other one my Smith & Wesson MP9 now before I forget actually it also came with these two back straps now this, the one that's already on it doesn't come off, I thought this would come off but it doesn't, it's moulded in you push this pin out and then you pick one of these two and you just put it over See, I am actually able to put it over it without taking that pin out, but obviously the proper way to do it was to take the pin out, put these over it, and put the pin back in to hold it on. I wonder if you could put a lanyard on that. Come to think of it, just, just through there. Fairly easy to take off. Now, there's two. It doesn't really seem to make much of a difference they both seem to be the same to me uh, this is actually too much with one of these on anyway so i prefer it to not be on 
that's actually a lot more comfortable. I don't see any difference in size between these two. Maybe it's just me. But I'm not. Oh, well, there's some markings there. L M. Right, so that's large and that's medium. I didn't actually notice that. So right now that'll be the small grip. But there's really not that much of a difference between these two. Uh, I would like to quickly show you something about the trigger before we put the gas magazine in the gun. Right now the gun is actually in the cock position because of course I did pull the slide back. You can see the trigger there ready to fire. There's nothing in it of course. So there when it's fired this is the position the trigger is in. So again absolutely nothing will happen just a little slight click. Slowly cock it back. That, now that's not actually the gun cocked that's the trigger set. To actually cock the gun, it has to come right back, and you can hear a difference in the click. One more feature, or one or two features I forgot to show. For a start, it does have that lock, uh, safe trigger or whatever, whatever it is, but it's a trigger within a trigger. So if you just pull aside, it won't fire. You've got to pull the inner trigger as well. We do have a safety catch here, which, what does that even say on it? DMD188S, whatever the hell that means, that's the safety catch. The real Glocks don't have a safety catch. But I mean, it's a right pain to actually move, so I'm not gonna. But it works. Now, there's a the problem. There's your rail. If you have a torch on that or something, you can't use the safety. So it seems kind of silly. Anyway. Enough with that, let's uh, peel peel. So magazine into the gun, cock it back, and of course because there's no BBs in it, right, we need to release the mag catch. I'll just start off, and I'm just going to double triple check, make sure there's nothing in it. Of course there's not, because I don't want to, I don't want to shoot my microwave or shoot the wall. Okay, and again we're not going to bother with the safety catch because it's in an awkward place. Yeah, it's fairly loud for a gas a gas blowback, I think. And it does have a nice a nice punch to it as well. It's not too much, it's not over the top, but it's quite nice. That's actually hurt my head a little bit, is that loud? And of course, the most important part. The reason why you'd want a Glock 18 instead of a 17, the fun switch. Yeah, I know, I should have held it down. Okay, here we go. Get ready for this. Yeah, that's quite fast. Yeah. That is... Well, I was laughing when I first shot it, it's just that much fun. So, honestly, money well spent, I think. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this, and now because I fired it on full auto, uh, the mag is quite cold, so if I let it warm up a bit, it should, it should, uh, well, it should use gas up a lot less, I suppose, I'm, I'm trying to say. So this is, this is definitely a fun little airsoft pistol. Now, there's one thing I actually forgot to do. I meant to get out my uh, gap blank firing pistol for comparison, so just give me a little minute and I'll just go and get that. Okay, I'm back. So I actually went out into my cabinet and got my gap, that is Glock automatic pistol or something like that. I don't know. This isn't licensed either. This is an Italian made. A blank firing pistol. Now this is one that I bought obviously before. I got the exemption to it in black. I've had this for about five years or so. Uh, both Glocks. They feel kind of similar. This one feels... You know what actually? They, they both... Whoops. A bit clumsy. Right. So they, they both feel quite nice. This one's a lot chunkier, a lot thicker and heavier. Um, I don't really know which one feels more realistic because I've not actually held the real thing. 
That says, I think the British Army actually uses something very similar to this for um, their displays. Why they don't just use a deactivated one, I don't know. They use deactivated um, GPMGs, it shows. But for some reason, the Reality 5s and Glocks are all airsoft. Which, by the way, of course, that's one of the reasons why you can get airsoft guns in black is if you're doing your crime duties or theoretics, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so a few, a, just just a few a few differences between these ones. Well, this one doesn't have a bottom rail. This is obviously a blank fire, so it takes these eight millimeter blanks. I've done a video on this before, but just a quick comparison anyway. So of course, in that regard, whoops. In that regard, this one is a lot more realistic. This blank has already been fired. Yeah. Now I was saying earlier on about the, the safety catch. Uh, sorry, the this assembling button. This does not disassemble the gun. This is actually the safety catch. It's cocked back, there's nothing in it. So when it's down, it's on safe. When it's up, it's on fire. And again, it's got that same trigger. Now this one probably does actually feel a bit more realistic. It feels the part. And obviously it fires the part too. Obviously it blows back because it has to. Whereas this one blows back just for show. So really, if you want it just for collection and authenticity, you're probably better with a blank fighter. Airsoft is easier to require though. And you're not going to scare someone quite as much because they don't have the bang. If you want the bang, it's a blank fighter. These two guns actually cost the same amount of money. These are both £100 each. But of course that one looks more authentic. You can get these in black if you've got a good reason. Whether or not um, your car or your just cause or whatever it is allows you to buy blank firing guns in black, well, I'm, I guess I still need to find that out. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And uh, one other thing, one last thing, I'm just going to drop the firing pin on this one. because I don't like to leave them cocked. This one too, actually. Yeah, so they fired. One last thing, I'm actually just curious. I'm thinking, I had said I wanted to get into Airsoft. I kind of want to collect Airsoft that I'm going to do. I'm not likely to do much skirmishing, but if I did, I would, I would maybe upload it to YouTube. Um, Obviously that would mean I would need to get some sort of chest mounted camera. Now I thought about doing that anyway because that would that would make that would make um doing videos on bigger knives and crossbows as well as airsoft easier. So if you'd be interested in airsoft footage, let me know. I mean it's not a guarantee and I know it's not everyone's thing and there's so many other airsoft channels um doing that sort of thing anyway. But I'm just curious nonetheless. I sometimes like to watch the battles. Uh, to be honest, I've really gotten a, a massive love for Airsoft recently. As I've been saying, if it exists, it has an Airsoft. I just recently found out you can get Airsoft armor plates. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. Like you put it you put it in the chest rig, it's just it's, it's made of foam, but that I thought that was pretty cool to be honest. Anyway, anyway, I'll leave it at that. I've blabbered on a load of nonsense anyway. Cheers for watching and I'll see you later.